How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Colina Legacy. I think, that's, I think I'm saying that name right. Colina? But we are here with the Blue Fairy area, hopefully. Up the Glyph of the Sun. Do not. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe. So there's definitely a mannequin around here. Where did it come from? There you are. Gotcha. Gotcha. You're gonna do bad. You're gonna cry like that. There you go. Put up a death to your face. Up a string. Up a string. Up a string. Yeah. I don't know why I'm having- I'm enjoying collecting puppet strings so much. So it said we gotta find the blue fairy. The only thing I can think of that would be possibly related to a blue fairy is this rhino thing? It's not replaying the cutscene or the voiceover from before, unfortunately. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Turn back away of us. Okay. It's kind of weird to call a family member a Oedipus. I mean, he was a real mother effer. Literally. Nope, this door is locked. I mean, I have a thing called the, the Glyph of Gate, which theoretically should, should open that. I'm not doing anything, though. And this isn't doing anything either to anything around here. Unless it's this. You need to interact with the environment, but that doesn't do anything at all. Oh! Oh, there's blood in this what? Oh my god, there's a glyph of blood. A uh, glyph of blood. And then... Well, you got that sword for me. It's a key. It's not blood. It's blood. Basement key. Oh, that's perfect. We got, we made progress. We have 20, oh my god, I just realized we had 25 of those puppet strings. I am not worrying about, I'm a tank now at this point. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna say, are you not gonna open the door for me now that I just saw your, your elite puzzle? So let me actually just charge up my batteries on here. Cause I mean, I'm assuming we're gonna go in the basement. It's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be the worst thing imaginable, hopefully. And, I I want to go prepared. I also don't like how this mannequin is just staring at me. Talking to me? You talking to me? Guy, we talking to me? I'm the only person here. Lucky my battery's just uncharging. The mother's a tree. Oh! I like to envision our character was like flipping them off as we're leaving. Basement key used. Ah, oh, jeez. So, you know how sometimes the game says, you have to go this way. And you... You know that that's a terrible idea for everyone involved. But you do it anyway because it's the game. We have a, a lockbox here. Which we want to... Oh, uh, it looks like there's a circle thing there, so it's probably what we want to use the amulet for. Well, let's check that out. We'll read this first, though. King Crimson. Good bad. He came down from the toilet of the bang, bathed by a storm, blanketed by thunder and dark clouds. A herald of doom, a wolf prowling through the heavens. His tail is an intense red, just like the eyes of the abyss. His roar is deafening, able to be heard through the entirety of the world. The burning crimson, the blood of creation itself, loomed from above us, bearing his fangs of death. His clothes made our star cloth. He dripped blood onto our heads, bathing us in his glory. He was preparing us for the spell we would later cast, 
but when we summoned him, we didn't have enough strength to restrain the Son of the Moon on our own. The Burning Crimson lent us his divine blood after a pact was made, for the two deities had bad blood between one another before the birth of humanity. The Burning Crimson could not miss the opportunity to see his father and eternal enemies shackled and shamed by the likes of frail mortals, the same mortals the gods were reluctant to create in the first place. The Burning Crimson snarled and mocked with us and left before the morrow arrived. He said, his voice echoing with the solidity of a stone. Now he will learn what time itself was so unwilling to educate. We used to have bad blood. Now we got problems. Of the many deities that inhabit the universe unknown in the, star between, the space between the stars, seven are amongst the most powerful and feared. They're known as the sons of the cosmic dust, and they've been created at the dawn of time before the advent of light. We, feeble mortals, aren't worthy of uttering their sacred names, so we devise their names of our own, based on things we understand, as we're so keen to. They're the Sun of the Moon, the Lady of the Golden Womb, the Silent, the Raider of the Stars, the Burning Crimson, the Moon Child, the Light Sword, and the Time, amongst others. These deities have woven the spectrum of the universe as we, mere mortals, know it. So, apparently the Efri wolf thing we saw in the woods was the Burning Crimson. And I'm guessing that the Raider of the Stars might have been what our father was before, the Light Sword we are actually picked up. The Moonshot's probably going to be the final boss, I can only assume. And we got some blood that we got to evaporate up here, so. See what happens in this tub. What's going on? I'm going to switch over to the death one, just in case. <gasps> oh, the last book! Oh, thank you. Give me the book, give me the book. I want the Tome of the Old God. Alright, we got the last book. Let's check out. I'm worried about what's going to be in here. Okay, now we're safe. Whew! That stuff, that, that stuff worries me a lot. Hey, we got the bookshelf filled. Oh, we need to make a symbol, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh, it's probably going to be something like this. Yeah. Oh my god, I made that by accident. Awesome. I solved it. <laughs> I literally, I, I promise I did not look that up. I just happened to find the like, uh, it probably makes like an arrow. And then, oh, that'd be a tip. The Glyph of Moon contains part of the eldest knowledge. It is the gift of knowing the unknown, the blessings of the old god to predict and counter its enemies. Why did it take me to a loading screen? I didn't check out the basement all the way. Did I check out the basement? Oh, hey, it's Christmas time! Aww. That's nice. So many Christmas gifts. Are they supposed to be mine? Has Granny been keeping them all these years? This took a stark turn. Please tell me we're going to see a mannequin with a Christmas hat on. I would be so ecstatic if we just happen to find a mannequin that's got a Christmas hat on. Locked. Oh. Can't even try to open that one, apparently. Locked. Oh. I want to save, though, actually. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to save here. Oh, I'm Ooh. so happy you're here with us. I missed you Who's that so in the background? Much? What are you looking at her for? Nothing. I was... I was just wondering how she's feeling. What do you care? She only tells you lies. She wants you to remember when you don't want to. Isn't it right, hun? Don't you want to forget? I don't know, Mom. I'm not sure anymore. We protect you too much, my little king. You'll always be my little boy. I feel like our mom is more He's the worry. So happy. My little king is so happy. He's my treasure. My mom says I love him too much. More than a mother has a right to. <sighs> He's just playing hide and seek. A bloody duck. Who let a duck loose in this house? Okay. That was weird. That was actually like the first time we had a cutscene that I could not interact with. Even if I did mess up the the whole uh the whole blue fairy thing. 
There's a duck walking around now. And I'm gonna go follow the duck, evidently. And the duck went, oh cool, this is where I went to go, because the save, save thing. Oh, the save thing's gone. Okay. Never mind, not gonna do that. Uh, where is my baby? Oh, where's my bear? Where's my teddy bear? Where could it be? Can you help me find it? Sure. There, these are different ratings. Games are perfect for liars. This has been carefully cultivated from vigorous playtesting. You're pretending. You're tapping away on a piece of plastic in front of a screen playing a game. Okay, don't get... You're not a brilliant strategist. Okay, well, let's not go that. Choices are clever. Cleverly presented under the false pretense of a simple role-playing. Huh. Yeah, th this is a very metal all of a sudden. We're trying to find a teddy bear. I'm also trying to get, not trying to get murked by, uh, okay. Yeah, this is, that's not how, huh. I probably, oh, you know, I probably need to do the, the light one. The sun, Let's see that I can heal it. Nope, okay, what about the moon? Moon heal it? No. Oh my god, which one would it be then? It's not gay, that's for sure. Not light. Oh, maybe light. Yeah, it's light. There you go. Yeah, we healed our teddy bear. A teddy's body. Okay, so we healed one portion of our teddy bear. We have to hunt through the house for the rest of it, don't we? Right. We'll put the, the batteries on that charger while we're here. We'll start looking for the rest of the teddy bear. Uh, yellow, what I assume would be the sun. Yep, that's right. You got Teddy's legs. He's gonna get his arms, which would probably be in the either probably be in the painting room. I assume. What? What do you mean? I, I don't. It's not unlocked. Okay. We'll probably unlock it once we get the Teddy complete. No parts. No body parts in there. Probably can't go outside, I'm gonna bother trying. Bathroom? Teddy in the toilet? It might be in the it might be in the basement actually, I'm just realizing. There's nothing here. Let's check the basement. This is really weird. To just randomly switch over to like a Christmas theme and yeah, it's probably it. There you go. Okay. That's a bucket of blood. Who doesn't have a bucket of blood just sitting in their basement? All the cool kids have buckets of blood, right? You're a cool kid, right? You got a bucket of blood. And there's Teddy's head. Oh, Grandma has to put her new lights up, apparently. You got, okay, we're all set in Teddy. Ted, Teddy's good to go. Let's just pop back up here. I don't feel like there's gonna be any mannequins around this area with this whole Christmas dealy bopper. Teddy bear, can you help me find it? Yeah, I got it. Got it all set. Teddy bear is a okay, kinda. Yeah, I have your teddy bear. I don't understand where it goes though. Maybe I have to repair the teddy bear. I could see that being part of it. Where would it go though? Oh jeez, another block puzzle thingy. I never I never once said I'm going for a whole completionist game. <laughs> Batteries charged, we're good. Let's take a look. Is there like a sewing kit or something we could find? I like how all throughout the year that bottle of uh the bottle of alcohol just sits there. Yeah, I can't leave. I can't go outside. Also, all the books are gone here. That's interesting. 
Just a little bit. Are all these meant for me? Okay, first of all, you got an entire family that's probably visiting grandma for Christmas. Also, this takes place in the past. Because of the fact that the book is not there. Oh. Take a look. A teddy bear was once the teddy bear was once holding out remains broken. Yeah, we had to repair the teddy bear. How do we do that though? Okay. Let me just try here again. Where's my teddy? 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 Okay, yeah, so it's definitely the teddy we're looking for. I just don't know where it would go. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely I have to repair it somehow. The question is, like, how do I repair it? Because I've got... Can I, can I use these puppet strings? Teddy's head, it's Teddy's body, it's Teddy's legs. We have all the parts of Teddy. Can't go into the bathroom, can't go outside. Can go in the basement. I wonder if the basement has something to do with this all. Because in the current version, in the future, I guess it is technically, there is a box here that it looks like I could use the the swan amulet in. Really hope we get to go back to the real time so I can open that box up and see what's in there. Can't go outside still. Christmas gifts again. That's trash. It's all that. Hmm. All right. Well, I am going to have to look around this area and see what I can find. And uh, I will meet you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm really interested in where this is going, especially with this whole Teddy thing. But if you guys are enjoying it, please let me know in the comments down below. I really would appreciate that. Make sure you're subscribed so you get updates when this new content or go live while live streaming. And of course, as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye.